Welcome to another edition of You Can Make It. Today we're going to do something you do for a fancy Sunday supper or having friends over, and that's delicious pork roast with apple gravy. It's a super easy recipe, but gives a very classic and delicious result. As with all recipes here at You Can Make It, we start with a uh, glass of nice white wine and apply it liberally on an internal basis. And then we'll look at the ingredients we need to make the dish. We need a pork loin roast. You can get any size you want uh, because it, you'll just coat it and use whatever size there is. I got about a two pound one here. You're going to have some Dijon mustard, some pre-mixed Italian seasoning, some cracked black peppercorn, some chicken broth, some apple juice, and a little bit of cornstarch. You also need a bit of water to mix the cornstarch with, and that's all you need. And then we're going to preheat our oven to 450 degrees in preparation. The first step in preparing your roast is you want to put a very thin layer of Dijon mustard all over the roast. So we'll just spoon a bit out and put it on the roast and use our fingers. And there we go, the roast has got a very thin layer of Dijon over the whole piece of meat. Okay, we're now going to put the seasonings on the roast. Uh, instead of mixing up and buying a bunch of herbs, I just buy pre-mixed Italian seasoning. There's all different makes of it, just go into the spice and herb section of your store and buy a pre-mix and it saves you buying a bunch of fiddly spices. And we'll start by just putting a good dusting of the seasoning on the surface of the roast. So as I say, you just shake a little bit of the seasoning over the top of it all and add a bit of peppercorns to each side. And when you've got them spread out so it looks like about that, just make sure you press it in so they stay there in the mustard. And as you see, I've done that with every side of our roast. Now that we've got our roast nicely seasoned, we're going to put it in a roasting pan with a little rack in it. The whole idea of this is it holds the roast up off a bit so the juices can drip down to the bottom and allow us to make gravy. What you need to know, though, is this is a very lean roast and it'll have very few juices. It's not like the days when your mom had the big strip of pork fat on it. So we'll be having to uh, add some extra stuff to make the gravy. A cook's best friend for cooking a roast is an oven-proof thermometer. You want to make sure you insert it into the center of the roast and it's going to tell you what it's exactly done. In the old days, you would cook this roast to 170 degrees Fahrenheit. We now know that you can cook it to 160 degrees Fahrenheit and have just a little touch of juices still left in it and it'll make for a better roast. So we're going to cook this to 160. And so now we're going to put the roast in a 450 degree oven for 10 minutes. Has it been 10 minutes yet, Bill? Yeah, I think it's about 10 minutes. Okay, so then we're going to turn our oven down from 450 degrees to 350 degrees because you want it hot to seal the outside a little bit and then cook a little slower to cook it all the way through. About 30 minutes in, our roast is up 140, so we've got 20 more degrees to go. It should be about 10 or 15 minutes. We're going to put about three tablespoons of cornstarch in some cold water. Cornstarch is something we're going to use later to thicken the gravy, but you can mix it in cold water and just let it sit until you're ready to go. So the secret is equal amounts of cornstarch and water. So three tablespoons of cornstarch and three tablespoons of these fine tablespoon measures of milk of water. Only the best. Yes, Bill is, Bill's kitchen is colorful as you can tell by the video. Once you've got the, it added together, the trick is to make sure you've used cold water because cornstarch mixes smoothly with cold water. And just stir it all up until it makes a milky like slurry like that. Now we're going to let it sit until we do the gravy and the cornstarch will settle out, but a quick stir and it will be back to this consistency. Well that ought to be good filler. <laughs> Okay, we've had this in the oven for uh, 10 minutes at 450 and about 40 minutes at uh, 350 and for a two pound roast it's exactly 160, exactly where we want it to be. So we're just going to take it out of the oven, we're going to pull the thermometer out of it. Now I guess I need a fork because it doesn't want to come out. I'm going to pull the thermometer out of it and it's nicely crusted up there. 
and we're just going to throw a piece of foil on it and let it sit for 10 minutes while we make the gravy. Okay, got to cover the foil and let it sit for 10 minutes, so I'm going to take the meat out of the pan so we can use the few drippings there are to make the gravy. You see how little there is. Modern pork rolls don't make much in drippings, so you got to add some stock to make up your gravy. Okay, I've got the uh, pan over some heat on a burner, and we're going to add a cup of chicken broth, and just let that come to a boil. And stir up the, the, the pieces that are stuck to the bottom of the pan because they're mm -mm tasty. As the uh, stock starts to come to a boil, put in about a tablespoon of peppercorns. It just gives a little bit of sharp bite to go with the sweet of the apple we're going to put in. So you got the peppercorns in there. Now you want to give them a few seconds to be boiled in the chicken stock because that brings out some of their flavor. And then after you've had just about 15 seconds or so, we're going to add the apple juice, which will take it off the boil and give those peppercorns a chance to give off their full aroma. And we've got to bring it back to a boil. Okay, so while you're stirring that, why are we letting the roast sit? Well, when a roast is cooked, the juices tend to go to the outside of the roast. And if you let it cool a bit, they're pulled back into the center, so the juices stay in the meat and give you a juicier result. And it does the last little bit of cooking up to temperature while it's sitting. So we got the cornstarch and water that we mixed earlier, and as I said, it'll settle out. So you just have to stir it up to get the cornstarch back in solution in the water. It'll be a little muddy. Stir it up until it makes sort of a milky mixture again. And now that it's all mixed up, you just want to slowly pour it into the boiling sauce. And you'll see that it immediately starts to thicken the sauce. And you want to turn your temperature down to medium low and just let that cook for two or three minutes to take the starchy flavor out of the cornstarch. But it'll make a nice thick gravy and you got apple gravy for your pork roast. So we've cooked this for just a couple of minutes to let it thicken and get the starch flavor out and then we're just going to pour it in the bowl we're going to serve it in. Bill has a fancy gravy boat and there is the most delicious apple gravy you will have ever had in your whole life. So we got the roast with the foil off of it, and we're just going to carve it up. And it's actually cooked right, just a touch of pink in the center, which is exactly what you want because you want your pork well cooked. Get that string out of there. And this should make for a fine meal for anybody. We're going to serve it with a bit of mashed potatoes and some either some cooked root vegetables or some salad. It'll be just delicious. Okay, our pork roast is all done. Simple, delicious. Sure we're going to enjoy it. Cheers. You can make it. Cheers to Bill. Ooh, that's good. Oh, smooth.